And they're all artists with studios in the Chattanooga workspace. So, this building was gross. Um, Chris Thomas, who is the owner of the Chattanooga Market, he wanted to um, have a space where artists could do their work um, in downtown Chattanooga. He found St. Barnabas Nursing Home and he thought this would be a great location. It's in the you know, middle of downtown Chattanooga, um, affordable spaces. Probably March of 2013, we had the first, I mean, the second floor is where we started. We had it ready for artists to move in and it filled up. And um, Allie Kay was one of our original artists and she's still here. Alexa Lett, who you're gonna meet tomorrow, was one of the original artists and she's still here. And they've been here since 2013. By September of 2013, we, were, we had our, what's called a certificate of occupancy. Um, and we were able to be a full, you know, certified, ready to run uh, Chattanooga workspace. So they love the studio. They love the fact that they have windows in all the studios, so the light. Um, they all have utility sinks, which was very important for painters. Um, they have Wi-Fi access. Um, it's a secure building, so they, everybody feels really safe here, and I think that was important. And I think then it started blossoming into create, you know, put your work out. Um, paint the hallways as you can and I'm sure you've kind of noticed on each floor it's kind of a different feel. We have a full house. Um, we have a waiting list probably of about 12 to 15. I, I call us the best kept secret in <laughs> um, Every first Friday of the month, the Chattanooga Workspace hosts an open studio night to showcase the artists and invite guests to experience Chattanooga in a new light. The most recent Friday was where Phoebe Mills spoke with many of the local artists inside. She sensed the vibrant atmosphere of the space and was intrigued by the wealth of creative energy present. But we wanted to know more. We wanted to know what it's like to work in the building and to be a part of the community. So we got up close and personal inside the studios to really chat with the artists about their experiences. Fall of 2014, I had kind of left Chattanooga for a little bit, went to North Carolina, and then the summer of 2015, I had come back to visit some friends, and I had heard about Chattanooga Workspace. And literally on the way out of town, I thought, well, I'm just going to pop in and see what's going on there, and just kind of feel things out, because I stopped in, and Captain London, our director, was here, and she said, yeah, we can give you a tour, and she gave me a tour and said they just happened to have a couple studios open, including this one, and, and I said, okay, so to me it was... I moved into workspace back in August. I haven't been here all that long. Um, the reason I moved in, well, I'd always wanted to be in because it's just a cool space and a lot of my friends who are artists are here. Um, it, it started just out as, as a, a mom that sitting on the sidelines could not sit there any longer and do nothing. So this became a mobile way to use creativity and stitching as a way you can do that. Then I mounted it on some canvases and then I came here and started painting it on the walls outside and then people started buying it, so I became a textile artist. If they were always doing their work at home, there's always a distraction for them. And then when they come here, this is the place where they get to do their art. I had worked from home before, and that doesn't work for me very well. It's like the proximity of the other artists. When I had my studio in my home, I mean, yeah, there are no other artists that I know of living in my it. home. I've been in the building since it opened. I was one of maybe the second people in the this building. The so I'm the <laughs> old pen in the building. Um, a friend of mine is the one who started this, so he, he knew that I was an art person and felt that I, he'd been to my house and he knew all of this was in my house. And, um, it had been a problem in my house, so he knew that it needed to be wrangled and put somewhere else. So uh, he felt um, I might be a candidate for renting space down here, so he told me about it, and the moment I walked in the building, 
it was mine. I had to have a space. I wanted to be a part of this. It just had such a good vibe about it. It sells itself because of the artists that are in the It's a great community of, you know, a diverse group of artists that do, as you've met, they all do different things and they collaborate with each other. Just because I'm surrounded by artists, it's so much easier to work and collaborate with them. When you're in this building, you are forced to be a part of the art community because it is it is like a beehive here and you're just one of the bees. And if you want to play in the game, you have to participate. And when you're around certain people in this building, you can't help but want to be with them. And that's that's the fun part of this. So it's very common for one of us to come together and say, hey, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about this? And I think it's happened in Chattanooga just even since we've opened um, Chattanooga Workspace. There's more visibility for the art. There's more um, emphasis on art, even in, you know, in your schools. Um, I think that there are a lot of artists that know about us, but as far as the general public, we're still in a phase of getting people to know that we're here. It is. It's a great central place for people to come and, and view, as, as you'll see, so many different kinds of art here. We have a, a just, I think most people think of painting or sculpture, but we have so much more going on in the building. We very much welcome the community to come in and, and meet us and see what we're doing and, and we like what we're doing and bring others back with them and we definitely want to be a big part of Chattanooga. For instance, we started our first Friday events. Our building is open, we have a gallery event downstairs, most all the studios are open and it's an opportunity for the people to walk into the space of an artist which is traditionally not done. And that's been um, increasing word of mouth quite a bit. I have people who will say, well, you know, my friend was here last month and she told me about it. We can have as many as four or 500 people come on a Friday night. Now, that says something about our community, that they enjoy coming here and that there are fun things going on here and they like art. I see uh, political people come through here. I see bankers that I deal with walk through here. It is the most vast, diverse group of people that walk through on a Friday night that you could ever imagine. Because of the passing of Ruth Holmberg, it, it's really brought it back to mind on how much Chattanooga has focused on bringing artists to Chattanooga and trying very hard to support artists in Chattanooga. And because she was such a, a primary character in that without her, I don't know that we, we have this at this point. Um, she, she is so, so important to the, the Chattanooga Arts and, and I think because of her work, there are so many other more people who have taken what she's done and just gone farther and farther out with it, which is how we've done here. We have an impact and I don't know that we'll ever know exactly what the true impact is. But I think because there's a, a, a specific space that people can come and see all different forms of art, that that really kind of um, trickles out to the rest of the community. And people you know that they can come here and see and get inspired. And, you know, hopefully they're being inspired. I know I am. <laughs>